This is how you can code a multi-guild welcome message for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the slash command package for this video. If you want to get this, go ahead and watch the video in the description below. Um, but otherwise, just uh, go ahead and create a command with your command handler, and we can go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to moderation, and I'm going to do set welcome channel.js. We are using quickdb for this, so go ahead and install uh, quickdb and this package as well. Go ahead and install these both in your terminal, um, and then we can go ahead and get started. After you've installed both quick.db and that other package, go ahead and do const slash command builder equals require. In here, we can do at discord.js slash builders. We can do const embed builder and permissions bit field and we can do equals require discord.js. We can also do const quick db equals require, and we can do quick.db just like that. And down here we can say const db equals new quick db just like that as well. So we can come down here and do module.exports equals, we can open this up and say data new slash command builder, new dot set name, we'll call this set well channel. So set welcome channel. We can set a channel option. So add channel option, option, arrow function, option, dot set name. In here we can say channel. We can go outside and we can do dot set description. And we can say this is the channel where you want the welcome messages to be sent. We can do dot set required, we'll make this true. Then we can do dot set description. And we can say this sets a welcome channel and we can go ahead and add a comma come down here async executes interaction we can open this up we can go ahead and make a simple permissions check by doing if uh, exclamation mark interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and here we can do permissions bit field dot flag dot administrator just like that we can return await interaction dot reply content you must have admin to set a welcome channel, just like that. You can go outside of that, comma, E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A-L. We can set this to true, just like that. Now we're gonna actually get the channel variable, so we can do const channel equals interaction dot options dot get channel. So we can do channel. And we can get an embed, so we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can set a color, we'll do blue. And we can set a description. And here we can say white check mark and we'll say your welcome channel has been set to channel just like that and we can actually add the channel to the database so we can do with db.set and we can do well channel underscore and here we can do interaction dot guild the id and we can do comma channel the id just like that and we can go ahead and send a reply so we can do with interaction dot reply and we can say embeds embed just like that we can add a semicolon here and then we're good to go next step is we're actually going to make a remove welcome channel message so that people can disable this if they don't want it anymore so you can go ahead and copy all of this go to moderation again we can call this remove welcome channel just like that dot js and go ahead and paste all of that in here and we can do remove well channel then we can go ahead and delete the channel option here for the description we can say this disables the welcome message just like that we're gonna go ahead and edit this we can say you must have admin to disable welcome messages just like that we can go ahead and remove the channel variable right here then we can go ahead and go into here and we can say your welcome channel has been removed just like that. We can go ahead and change this to db.delete just like that. And we can go ahead and remove the channel.id from here. Should just look like this. So that's all you have to do for this. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and go into our index.js and we're actually gonna create a client.on. This is gonna be the way that the bot recognizes when somebody actually joins the server. So we can do const quick db uh, equals require, and then we can do quick dot db and we can do const db equals new quick db just like that just like we did before and we can actually do client dot on we can do events dot guild member add and then we can do async member open this up as well 
Now, one thing that you might need to do is you might need to actually define events up here in your uh, required discord.js. So if this isn't here already, all you have to do is just do comma events just like that and it will work perfectly fine. Then we can actually go ahead and get the channel ID. So we can do const channel ID equals awaydb.get and we can do well channel underscore member dot guild dot ID. It's going to get the same thing as the interaction. And then we can do const channel equals member dot guild dot channels dot cache dot get we can do channel id then we can come down here and we can actually make a message so we can do const message equals and in here we can do anything you want for the message um this is up to you but i'm gonna do welcome to the server comma and we can do member and we can actually bold this as well keep in mind you could do a set welcome message um database as well it's pretty much the exact same thing as the channel um, you can create a new database for the welcome message if you wanted this to be 100 percent customizable for the server um, but for me i'm just going to keep it like this and we can go down here we can do if channel id equals equals null which means nothing then we can return and do nothing then we're going to go ahead and do channel send and we'll just say our message variable right there and with that, we are actually done with all of this. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and set a welcome channel. So we can go ahead and do slash set welcome channel or set well channel. I'm just going to go ahead and set it to the channel we're in right now. So we'll just do test. It's going to go ahead and say that my channel has been set to test. Just keep in mind that I did mess this up. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So over in the Discord server, I'm just going to try this again. I'm going to do set well channel and we'll do test. Yeah, as you can see, now the uh, white check mark is actually working. I forgot to put that colon there. Uh, but now we can actually go ahead and try to join the server on an alt. So if I go ahead and actually join the server, as you can see, it's going to say welcome to the server and then the alt account. Um, now, I could set this channel to something else. If I were to do set welcome channel and join log or something like that, I could go ahead and join the server on my alt. As you can see, it's going to send over in join log that I joined the server. If I wanted to disable um, the welcome message in general, I could just do remove welcome message just like that and it's going to go ahead and say my welcome channel has been removed and if i go ahead and leave the server and join back on my alt as you can see nothing's going to happen but if i go over to this channel you can see that the alt is now in the server but nothing happened in terms of messaging now this message is 100 percent customizable if you did want to make a, a database that allows you to actually set a welcome message as in the message that actually sends when the member joins the server you can do that but i'm just not going to go ahead and show that um, but that is 100 percent customizable if you actually wanted help with that go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help um, not only with that but also all of your coding problems and yeah uh, be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video